As the country continues to come to terms with the sudden demise of interior seas Joseph Nkaiseri, mourners from the Ma community and across political divide continue to troop to his home in Karen to condole with the family. As Somba would characterize the retired general's home, lost of words, they came to mourn the man who serves as an elder in the Ma community. Eh, tumekuwa, tukiasiliana na yeye kwa kazi nyingi, kati alikuwa mbunge, tulikuwa kwake kila wakati, siku na mchana tunaenda kwake, wakati amekuwa waziri, haku tuacha. Likuwa kila wakati anakuja kule kwetu na manga, mana amekuwa msaada kubwa sana kwa community yetu. Kwa hivyo leo hii tulipopata habari hii, eh, ilituleta, ilituletea shock kubwa sana, sababu ni kitu ambaye hatunge atarajia. But the home was sealed off to members of the media. Only members of his family allowed access. <laughs> Forensic experts drove in and out of the compound, combing the home for evidence as investigations commences into the sudden death. Detectives are treating his home and the restaurants within Bomas of Kenya, where the sea has held a security meeting as crime scenes. The CS was rushed to Karen Hospital shortly after he was taken ill. The forensic experts uh, took samples from the late CS home for analysis by the government chemist. The team also comprises pathologists. His wife, Helen Kayseri, is still admitted at Nairobi Hospital after suffering from shock over the loss of her husband. Leaders from the Ma community have called for peaceful mourning of the retired Major General as country heads to the polls. <laughs> Ni wakati wetu mgumu masaini kwa sababu kweli tunawapotesa viongozi, tulipotesa eh, the late ni mama, the late John King, so leo tumempotesa chenari ngaiseri. So ni kwamba sisi kwa masai, mekua ni wakati mgumu sana. Lakini kwa sababu mungu ndia anateua kiongozi, hata tupatia kiongozi mwingine ambaye atansimama kwa hiyo nafasi. Ngaiseri was scheduled to attend a fundraising event in aid of needy children at Iblis in Kajado County today. Linus Moshigadi for Channel One News.